What is up, Connor here, and this is the third episode of How to Code a Minecraft Client. So today we're going to be coding a UI. So you're going to have to take a few steps, which I've already done, and I'm going to show you how to do them. We're going to download the Unicode font renderer class, which I'm going to paste in for you guys. Um, this class was coded by Darkstorm, and it is essentially a custom font class. So I'm going to leave all the links in the description. But you're basically going to copy and paste that over, and I did a package called tutorial.font, Unicode font render, and I copied everything over. As you can see, I'm having absolutely no errors, which you guys will have. That's because you need to import the slick library, and I'll show you guys exactly how to do that. So, you guys are going to download it from this link right here, which I will leave in the description. I've already downloaded it. And then from your downloads folder, you're going to find your MCP folder that this client is being made in, and you're going to drag the slick.jar into the lib folder. Then you'll go up to the client, right click, and go to build path, configure build path, and then you're going to add external jar, and then navigate to slick.jar and add it. I've already added it, so I'm not going to do it. Then after that, you're just going to import everything in this class, including um, Unicode font, which should be the only class that you're missing, because the library isn't like defaultly, in defaultly included in Minecraft, if that's a word. So after you've imported everything and after you've taken those steps that I just showed you guys, um, then you should be all good. You can X out of that. Now we're going to make a new class under tutorial.font, and this class is going to be called fonts. Um, I've decided the font we're going to use is going to be called Avenir. You can use any font you want, but that's the font that we're going to be using. So we're going to do public static. Unicode font renderer e er, not equals and it, we're going to call this Avenir 22 and then we're going to do public static void load font so this method is going to load all of our fonts and it's going to create an instance of the Unicode font renderer that will be an Avenir custom font so this uh, or actually not this dot since it's static Avenir 22 with new Unicode font renderer new font first the first parameter is the name so we're gonna do Avenir black second one is going to be the style of font so we're just going to do font not plain and the last one is how big the font is in 22 so we can put our semicolon there and we're all good here. Now we're going to go into the minecraft.java class under net.minecraft.client and we're going to navigate to this font renderer and you're going to go to the fifth instance of it that you find which should be this dot font renderer equals new font renderer so on so on so on and you're going to do another to do and we're going to do fonts.loadfonts we're done here, and now we are going to make a new class and a new package. And this class will render our UI. So new class. It's going to be under the package tutorial.ui, and we're going to call it UI Renderer. And there's only going to be one method in this class, and it's going to render the UI. So public static void render UI. So we're going to hook this method up to our GUI in game class under net.minecraft.client.gui. So we navigate to GUI in game.java. And you guys are going to come into this render game overlay. Um what we're gonna do is just go right under this G L I'm sorry, we're gonna navigate down <laughs> navigate down to this just search for debug and right above here we're gonna do GL eleven dot GL push matrix and we're going to do um, UI render dot render UI and GL eleven dot GL pop matrix. So it'll render the UI. We can do another to do up here. To do client. So now it'll render the UI. So we'll do exactly what we tell it to do here. So we're going to go GY dot draw string. Now this will not show up at first. And that's fine. You're just going to have to import GUI and then hover over draw string. And first you're going to add the arguments to match it. And then you have to change the modifier to static. 
now we're going to fill in the information. So the first parameter is the ren font render that we're going to be using. So we're going to be using fonts.avenir22 because that's the font render we're going to be using. The second one is the string. And we are going to write the client name in the top right corner uh, or the top left corner of the screen. So we're going to do client.dclient.client name plus space plus client.dclient. Ugh, I meant to do client version. Dot client version. So it's going to draw the name and then space V. I meant to put that. So this will basically draw um, client V1. And this is the x coordinate, which is 2, the y coordinate 2, and the color, which we're going to do OX90FFFFFF. So if you're not sure if these colors are just hexadecimal colors, so just look that up. Um, you can do RGB to hexadecimal, and that'll give you a good idea of what color to use. Now, I'm just going to explain how this works, because it's confusing to some. Now, if you just do six digits, it's not going to consider even opacity as a factor. But if you do eight digits, um, or eight, whatever, eight characters, the first two are going to be the opacity, and 90 is about around half, maybe a little bit more. CC is exactly half. FF is full. So there's basically FF, FF, FF is white. So this is going to be kind of a clear white. So I'm going to show you what I mean right now. So we can start up the client. Take a minute. It'll take a slightly longer to start up the client right when it says, um, sound library sound engine started because this is when it's loading the fonts and you'll notice it takes a little bit longer there and boom so now we can go into our class and it should have client up in the top left corner as you can see it says client v1 in the admin font so with that we're going to draw an array list now this will be very useful <laughs> so we can na navigate back to our ui renderer.java and here we're going to make actually a new method to render the array list because that's what I want to do. Um, and it's going to be public void render array list. And in this array list, we are going to have a few factors. One is going to be int x count. And that's it, x count, and that's going to actually equal 12. So basically, we're going to do another cycling thing. So, for module um, array module client dot v client dot module manager dot active module if array module dot get toggled, then it's going to go gui dot draw string blah 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 I'm just gonna copy this because I'm lazy and rather than um two as your x coordinate you're gonna do the x count and the same thing and you're gonna get rid of all this junk right here for the string and it's just gonna be array module dot get name and then we're gonna increment it by six so x count plus or equal to just, just put that there don't question it um it's gonna add six so basically how this works is it's the initial x count is 12 and then it's cycling through all the modules and if the module is enabled then it's going to draw it and then it's going to increment 12 by six so that like the next module will rather be then rather than be 12 2 it'll be 18 2 then 24 2 and so on so on so on and with that it should show up so we just have to add this dot render UI or this dot render oh maybe you just have to do render play list why is it not showing up? Hmm. strange guess I have to put it before my bad Never had issues with that. Maybe I'm just crazy. 
kind of brain dead. I had an exam today. <laughs> well, I guess we can change that to actually a private boy. And then here we need this dot ren. What the heck? It's being really weird. Oh, I guess I have to make this a private static void. Turkey. I'm sorry, I'm being really stupid today, guys. Sorry about that. Render array. Yes. Not bad. So, now it'll work. Sorry about my brain deadness. Probably at the sound engine. If on the engine, that's when it loads all the fonts. If you start using a bunch of different size fonts or a, different, a bunch of different instances, you'll notice that it gets slower and slower. So, as you can see, absolutely nothing is drawn. That's not unusual. So, as you can see, I screwed up completely and did it X instead of Y because I'm stupid. So, it's drawing flight to the right of it because I'm a retard. So. Let's go ahead and fix that and change everything. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel stupid right now. So, rather than X count, let's change that to Y count. And actually change this to 2 and change uh, Y count. <laughs> sorry about that, guys. And Y count plus 2, 7. And while we're actually here, I'm going to make a new one, so make it slightly smaller, so it's going to be Avenue 18. You, have, you don't have to name it, that's, I just like naming it the size, so I have an idea. So I'll do the same thing here. And boom. We start that up now. Sorry about the slight confusion, guys. But now it should work fine. Might take slightly longer to start up. Thank you guys for your patience. And right here, if this has worked as it should, this will be the end of the episode. Thank you guys for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and thanks guys for all the support. And if you guys didn't notice, I forgot to change the size of the font so it looks weird. So I will do that now and let you guys take a look at it. I did. I forgot to change it to Avenue 18 right here. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, like I said, I am pretty brain dead right now. So we'll, this will be the last check, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> I feel really stupid right now. But like I said. Like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Show me, give me suggestions for the next episode. What mod should I do? Should I do something like chess DSP or what do you guys think I should do? So yeah, now it looks better. I might change the spacing a little bit, but that's something I can say for another episode. It's not a big deal. Just a matter of changing numbers, experimenting. But yeah, thanks guys for watching. We'll see you guys all later. Bye.